Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Virgos. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of June the 7th to the 13th, 2021. Again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and especially those beautiful comments you leave behind. But don't forget to subscribe. It's simple. It's easy. Click the button. It's free. And you'll get notified immediately when any of your YouTube favorite YouTube creators are out there. Click the bell on the option ALL and make it ring. And then the little algorithm in the back office will know that you're actually active and not delete you from my site. That's what happens. That's why so many of us are out here saying, you know, we only have 40 or 50 percent of our viewers that actually subscribe. And then we find out a year later why we've lost two or three hundred people who've been watching us. So please know it's imperative that you click that subscribe button. Okay, this is a general reading and every single card or the energy they carry may not resonate with every single one of you, but some of it will. So run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any personal questions that will require a private reading from me, all that information is posted below the video, how to contact me. Okay, my beautiful, beautiful Virgos, let's see what we have here for this week for you. Starting off with your all over energy card, you've been given new start. Sometimes we must realize that what we have done needs to be discarded and we must make a new start. So if you've been working on something and it hasn't come to fruition and it hasn't worked out the way you wanted, then it's time to move on. It's time to make the next stage. It's time to start something new. Maybe it's a new goal. Maybe it's a new passion, a new hobby. Uh, maybe it's a new project. It could also be a new relationship. Coming in with your second energy card from the Surrender deck, you've been given Surrender to Resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life. Now, when we say forgive, I mean, you could be leaving behind a relationship here and you may be starting a new beginning for yourself solo or going into a new, just going into a new direction by yourself. Um, you know, don't hold those resentments if it's a relationship that, you know, went sour, didn't work out in the way you had wanted because it's only going to sabotage you and hold you back from feeling secure, feeling confident, feeling ready to move forward. Forward. So resentments and anger only hold us back, right? And lack of forgiveness as well. Now let's get into that word forgiveness. We can forgive, but it doesn't mean we have to condone the bad behavior that might have been, you know, part and parcel to this situation. Uh, we can, you know, like I say, forgive and forget. You never forget, forget, but you can forgive it and throw it out into the universe to release that burden from you. You don't need to carry that anymore. So let it go so you can free yourself, my beautiful Virgos, to go free again and do what it is you want to do that brings you joy. Now you have chop wood and it's an interesting card. The chop wood card says you need to be, you need to be grounded. Okay, you need to be grounded and tap into your personal humility here. And again, I think there's a theme going here. Maybe some of you, it's the end of a relationship or some situation or phase in your life. And now you're ready to move forward, but you're going to take your time because there's times when the big dream is meant to lie dormant. Okay, in our consciousness, not actually in, you know, come into reality. And, you know, just deal with the simple little menial uh, chores and things. Uh, it's about, you know, taking care of business that's everyday routine, not getting involved in any major projects right now, not getting involved in anything too big, uh, not biting off more than you can chew. Okay, just do those things that you need to do to keep you busy. You've got a child here and the child is a beautiful card. It's tapping into your inner child. For some of you, it's all about dealing with children. It could be something new. It could be uh, the newness of a relationship. You know, the, ba you know, the baby steps going towards a new business. Whatever the case is, this could mean many things. But maybe some of you are going to be actually bringing a child into the family fold or hearing of a beautiful birth or, you know, somebody who's expecting to bring a beautiful child into your life. You could also be teaching, mentoring, entertaining, and being with children, dealing with situations that circulate around children. They could be your children or they could be others. Coming in with your crowning energy for your tarot reading, you've been given the Ace of Swords. So I think you're setting the intention now to see the truth in a, in a situation so that you can move forward freely. <clears throat> when the Ace of Swords shows up, that's what it's about. It's about seeing something clear so that you're not so 
uh, confused about something or worried or bringing in worry into the equation. Aces are always the beginnings of everything <clears throat> in all suits. You've heard me say this, but it could be with the ace, it could be a challenging beginning. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, look what happens. When you see the truth in a situation, it's actually, you know, you're going to see rebirth, regrowth, being able to move forward. And you're going to be able to, uh, you know, take flight now, new ideas coming into you, new inspirations coming into you. And it could be an event or a situation that maybe has troubled you in the past it's going to clear up now it could be a relationship okay for some of you but I want you to focus on your long-term goals now and get moving towards them okay I think you're going to be starting something new you're going in a new direction here um, you know it's a new understanding right now right now you're ready to move forward so it's like you're turning a negative into a positive and we have to do that in order to move forward on our path anyway beautiful now coming in behind you you have been given the ten of pentacles beautiful card ten of pentacles says wow you're going to see abundance coming in big 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 time tenfold here so it's about financial security and knowing that you know you're establishing a legacy and building a financial lasting foundation to success and maybe some of you it's in your career or maybe some of you it's in your own personal career your own personal business um, you know know that also when this shows up it means there's security and there's also stability in your family life that's strong right now you're secure and you're peaceful there as well and maybe they're your blood relatives but maybe they're your chosen family okay it could be either or but you know you need to realize that you're going to be able to see happiness coming in now for some of you you might be seeing some money come in unexpectedly it could be in the form of an inheritance um, and uh, something's coming to completion because tens are always about completion finishing something coming in below that you have the three of Pentacles so you're working on something you're you're perfecting your craft you could be taking a course you could be going back to school you could be getting your degree or a credit in something um, you could be adding all that wisdom and all that experience and all the, that talent uh, <clears throat> and the gifts you have to offer in your career uh, to your resume so this is about perfecting what it is you're working on and also it has to do with dealing with other people being a team player you could be getting together with other people there it could be three people uh, you could be creating your own team but you're getting along and you're collaborating all these efforts and all these uh, ideas with other people to build this legacy to build the, the, the security and the strength within your career and your job and your business you know what I say two heads are better than one hey add a third and wow look what you've got now you've got the lovers this, this came up oh no you've got the lady this isn't the lovers I'm reading things upside down guys and this deck is still fairly new to me so the lady the lady she turns out to be the empress okay she is the empress she's coming in here now and she's able to step forward and see that there's some beautiful abundance coming into you this is about spending time uh, in places that you feel comfortable you love I mean she she she's surrounded in nature maybe you're getting out in nature and you're doing your meditation to manifest what it is you want out there some of you could be dealing with children you could be dealing with uh, your pets your animals loving and nurturing yourself in the process first before you can go and administer that to others this is also about good emotional and physical well-being your health you're going to feel more revitalized you're going to feel better and you're because and now you're going to be able to enjoy the beautiful things in life and you, you realize now you deserve this happiness okay so you could be giving birth to a child coming into your home some of you it's not for everybody I've had people say yeah I'm too old to give birth I get it okay this this is a general reading not all of you will be conceived and giving birth but some of you might okay because that's what this means but for those that aren't you could be giving birth to a new project a new passion a new you know a new business something that's going to get you going there and create those those creative and beautiful juices flowing so business will grow okay business will grow and expand for some of you now coming in in your center position which could be the energy you're feeling at the moment you have been given the eight of Pentacles now the eight of pentacles is exactly that I had been reading the three of pentacles here collaborating but the eight of pentacles says you are perfecting your craft you are working towards your goals you are maybe some of you taking a new course of study to add to your resume to, to the gifts that you have to offer and if you continue to stay on this path you continue to stay focused 
you're going to see fruition come in because I think you're working towards your goals very, very hard to see that you're building up that nest egg, to see that you're building up your business, okay? You could be receiving some needed information coming into you to help you work towards this goal. Some of you might be taking off in a hurry to go travel somewhere, okay, as well. That could be for your job. I think some of you, and that's what, you know, I'm being shown here by spirit, uh, that you could be doing that. But I want you to realize that the work that you're putting into this right now is what is building you this beautiful nest egg, okay? Um, some of you could be taking an apprenticeship in something new, right? Pay attention to the details so that you can do everything the way you're supposed to be doing it. This is related to your interests in your profession now. Okay, work towards those goals and you're soon going to see the rewards coming in. Coming in below your crowning energy, which was the Ace of Swords, you have the Nine of Wands. Okay, I don't want you to give up. Okay, you might feel there's times where you're backed up against the wall in a situation and you just can't see your way out of it. Um, this is about not giving up what you've created. What have you created, Virgo? Is it something in your relationships? Is it something within yourself? You've built up some, some self-esteem, some, some beautiful energy within yourself. It, and, you know, it takes one person that comes in and says a negative thing and you allow that to get through you and to seep into your soul and to make you doubt yourself. Don't do this. Don't allow others to determine your happiness and the direction you're going on your path. Okay, we've all been there. Don't allow that one bad apple in the in you know in the basket to to create a toxic environment. You've cre you're creating something that you did all on your own. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the doubters. Keep going forward and definitely don't roll over. Okay, this isn't the time to roll over and be submissive. This is the time to stand up for yourself and keep going forward and stay determined here. That's what this means. You've created something here. So do not give up. The universe says, uh-uh, you're not giving up. You're going to stay fo stay focused and go forward towards those goals that you've worked hard for. Now, coming in towards you, you have a beautiful card. You have the Ace of Wands, and that's all about beautiful energy coming into you. That's all about possibilities, prospects, uh, opportunities coming in. I love it when this shows up because it is about new and exciting opportunity. It could be a new career. It could be a new job. It could be a new business that you're thinking about venturing out and going for. And go for it. Um, you know, you could be receiving a job offer from somebody out of the blue or even a promotion is being presented to you. This is exciting and it's all about a new beginning. Okay, moving forward into something new. You've got the, what have we got here? We've got the rebirth card and the rebirth card talks about uh, talks about getting a second chance and you know being able to move forward uh, you know it's beautiful it's all about you know um, it's it's like you've made a fair assessment of what was and now a judgment call has been made and you're going forward here okay you're making thoughtful judgments regarding your life and it's going to make you make better and more confident choices here and I want you to just relax about this here okay um, you know rest easy knowing that you've prepared well this could have to do with legal situations as well okay when we talk about judgment right but it's going to resolve and it's going to be worked out in your favor some of you could be um, you know um, you're going to see something here in addition you could be doing some academic examinations and certification tests know if you're doing any exams at all they're going to work out in your favor as well this is about making a landmark decision it's about a career and a job coming towards you and how you work towards that yourself it's moving in a new direction and it's a new beginning for some of you it's beautiful now you've got the 10 card here they call it word but actually it's the wheel it's the wheel of fortune and karmically you're being sent this beautiful beautiful energy coming towards you uh, you know your energy is going to shift you're going to see happiness coming in uh, you're going to be able to see that any any problems you've been having in the past are going to disappear this is good luck okay it's a twist of fate and it's karma coming in towards you to bring this. It's your destiny. So it's about beneficial new opportunities. We keep talking about making a new move here, going in a new direction. And it's a leap of faith to go towards what you want. And it's going to work out well. 
you're letting go of the bad issues. You're letting go of the of the, of the old blocks. You're, they're lifting and they're, they're they're falling away from you now, so that you're going to be able to make some rapid, beautiful progress here. Advancement, beautiful. Okay, Virgo. Let's see what we have here for clarification, Spirit. What have we got for our Virgos? What do they need to see? What do they need to know? And what do they need to expect? Okay, here we go. On your crowning energy, your Ace of Swords, those beautiful opportunities to see things in clarity, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful card. Comes up twice. Prosperity, happiness in the material part of your life and in the emotional part of your life. Beautiful. Coming in with the Ten of Pentacles in your past or you're behind you, you've got the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands says you've done something. You've worked towards a goal. You're waiting to see your ship come in. This means just let the chips fall where they may. You've done a good job here. Wait. Just be patient and start moving on to the next phase while you're waiting to hear about this because you're making your mark on the world, my beautiful friends. Okay? This is contacts and business and this is, you know, great potential and controlled, uh, you know, um, progress coming into you but you could be dealing with agreements and you could be dealing with business here but it's all good you're coming into your own so just be patient um, and know that you know you're going to hear about good news coming in when it comes to your business here and with our three of pentacles you've got the six of pentacles that's a gift that is even division of gifts. This is also give and take, push-pull energy. Uh, you could be uh, dealing with someone else where you're kind of saying, well, I'll do this for you if you'll do that for me. And it's kind of a barter system here, but it comes in uh, fairly. So something's going to come into you fair and just. You're going to be receiving some gifts. You could be giving something to somebody out of the goodness of your heart, or you could be receiving something from somebody. And with Our Lady, with our Empress, you have the Knight of Rods, beautiful card. Um, you're going to hear about something coming in and there's going to be a shift of energy. It's going to come in quickly. Uh, this particular Knight is fast moving energy. Okay, it's a situation that's going to require immediate attention, but you're going to have to use caution and wisdom and, and um, be guarded because if you're signing anything important here you need to be very careful of it okay um, it could be uh, you know something suddenly he could be your knight in shining armor flying in towards you it could be a passionate very quick hot and heavy relationship for some of you some of you might be going the distance and having to travel for your business okay some of you could be moving you could be moving to a new a new uh, a new um, residence but it always is uh, the card of emergency it means you have to get on something and act on it right now now, you've, on your Eight of Pentacles, working hard for your job, you have the King of Rods. Stay focused. He's very, very focused and determined, and he's going for the big picture. He's not dealing with the little stuff. He's going for the big picture, and that's what this is saying on top of the Eight of Pentacles. You stay focused and keep working on that prospect of getting what it is you want when it comes to your business or your job. Nine of Wands, beautiful card. Don't give up. You have the King of Swords. Standing in your integrity, standing up for yourself, standing up for truth. Um, this could also be somebody you're dealing with uh, in legal issue. You could be retaining somebody here uh, for legal issues. Um, you know, uh, maybe a lawyer, maybe a judge, somebody that you can look up to, somebody who has the ability to stand in your end of the ring and defend you in some way. Um, I think you might be doing that. This could be uh, somebody that you know or maybe somebody's been recommended to you that you're going to hire because it could have to do with law, science, or, or even business right now that you're going to be meeting somebody. And it has to do with justice. Maybe this is a mediator coming in here to help you not give up, to help you through this struggle. It can also refer to government and military. Okay. Now, coming in with your Ace of Wands, you have the Moon. The Moon stands for Pisces, but it also stands for trusting your instincts, trusting your God-given talents, trusted, trusting the experiences that you've learned. There could be some information that you could be doing some research on. Maybe there's something going on in the background and you need that. You need that information so that you can go forward towards this new uh, this new part of your life here with the Ace of Wands opportunities and all uh, and job and, and, and all that beautiful uh, promotion that could be coming into you. Um, trust your instincts and also trust what you've learned in the past. Coming in with the the Justice Judgment card, you have the Wheel of Fortune twice. Karmically, energy is being sent to you. Things are moving forward in a progressive, positive direction. 
good luck, karma, and destiny. Beautiful. Coming in with your other world card, you have the Ace of Swords. Truth and clarity. Truth and clarity. Okay, something's going to come out where you're going to be able to stand up twice here. You've got the Ace of Swords. So you're going to be able to see a picture in complete clarity. You're going to have that freedom of being able to move forward now. <clears throat> the end of those challenges, well, it can be a bit challenging in the beginning, but the end of, of the challenges should be over because now you can see a picture in complete clarity. And I think justice is going to be done. I think you're going to be able to move forward now and be free to, to do this new start on your life. Beautiful. Well, my beautiful Virgos, this is your reading for this week, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. And again, always remember, the universe is not happening to you. The universe is reacting to you. Please be mindful what you throw out there because you will get it back tenfold. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed, want you to find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And let's all play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And we'll all see each other very soon. Mm -hmm.